Reading for May 14th, Science of Mind, A Philosophy of Faith, A Way of Life by Ernest Holmes. Reading from page 200, paragraph 4, through page 201, paragraph 4, using inclusive language. Disease is impersonal. The word disease means lack of ease, dis-ease. Abnormal, absence of a normal condition. In order to do their work, it is necessary for the practitioner to know that disease is not an entity, any more than darkness, which is the absence of light, is an entity. From the standpoint of the mental practitioner, disease is an impersonal thing attempting to operate and personify itself, a thought force, a misconception, a conviction in the mind of the one who has it, and of course, an actual experience to the one who is suffering from it. Regardless of its particular source, disease is an experience operating through people which does not belong to them at all. Recognize that it is neither person, place, nor thing, that there is no spiritual law to support it, that it is discord fleeing before harmony, that there is nothing but the truth. You must know that the power you are using is definite, scientific, dynamic, spiritual, absolute, complete, and that it will work. Let no fear come into your thought. The first thing a practitioner does is to separate the belief from the believer. It is a personal, not a cosmic problem. Evil is not a problem to God, it is only a problem to the individual. Therefore, we separate the belief from the believer and begin to perceive the individual as a spiritual being, no longer subject to this belief, and even now the embodiment of perfection. If the practitioner is able to see only perfection, wholeness, they will see health manifested in their patient. The practitioner then, recognizing that mind or intelligence or spirit, whatever they choose to call it, is the groundwork of all movement, definitely, specifically, and consciously, speaks their word into this creative medium. Begin to use this principle, no matter how slight you feel your knowledge, and the result will inspire you to perceive new ways and methods of approach until you gradually grow into deeper assurance. People are fundamentally perfect. This is our whole premise. Perfect God, perfect person, perfect being. This is the whole basis of our argument. Always mentally separate disease from the one suffering from it. In mental practice, never locate disease because thoughts are things. Separate the belief from the believer, for the spiritual person has no disease, and you are talking only about the spiritual person.